So what's up guys? I, um, man, I'm excited. Um, whew, this is a $200 shipped, uh, comic book mystery box. Like my man, uh, slotted up Jason. Um, I'm putting him down in the description, but pretty sure if you're following me, you're following Jason. Um, he's been a nice connection, good friend in the community. Um, him and his wife, super Jesse, they've been fantastic. He put out his first mystery box. So I got in on that. I'm supposed to be moving, supposed to be saving money, supposed to be downsizing collection, and I'm still buying mystery boxes. Um, he had them claimed by the um, superhero, and not by the uh, not by the number or anything. So I chose Doctor Strange because why not? Um, so this man here, he he's not just here; he's here. Um, Hi, I'm real. He's real. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my man, Rob. Um, I told you guys, in the next few weeks, I really want to bring on some people. Um, and as I told Brian last time, um, this is this is kind of my way of getting to say goodbye. Yeah. Because I, like I, I got two more weeks left uh, with some of the, like, two and a half weeks left. Um, and, you know, I've known Brian for a really long time. I've gotten to know Rob probably over the last year or so. Um, his amazing, beautiful family. Um, got you. to connect with them. I mean, you didn't make them. Well, uh, uh, you know. still, I molded them. <laughs> it's like when people say, Do, yeah, you, I like your tattoos. What do you say? I didn't draw it. Like, I didn't... I molded them. I didn't color I, it. <laughs> you mold, molded I molded them. them. <laughs> They're fine. Um, so, Rob, Rob's fantastic. Uh, we always have chats um, offline about a lot of this stuff, and I'm actually a fan of his. Um, the content that he releases. I'm a podcaster. I'm a... Any type of media, I consume media like crazy. And for some reason, I have, um, all, I always kind of keep those people around me. All, all the creative types, the artistic types. I want to keep people who are always pushing forward. Right. You, um, you have to. I mean, I guess in high school, I was always around the stoners, and they didn't do nothing. Barely moved. Even the bell rang, and they'd still be sitting there. So I just, it's nice to have some people who are, like, actually motivating me. Um, so Rob... Tell them where they can find you at. Tell them what you do, uh, who you are, what you... You're real. We know that much so far. Well, two things. I do uh, DJ here in Florida on one of the radio stations. I have a show every Saturday at 5 o'clock. WJFP.com. 5 o'clock on Saturdays, you can hear me. My show is called Kingdom Rhythm. But now I just started this new show that's more comic-related, more everything-related. I call it the Everything and Chill Show. We're on YouTube right now. Everything and Chill. I know Alan will put the link for it, but yeah. it's the Everything and Chill Show. That's basically what it is. And uh, we're available as a podcast format, too, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And wherever you can find it, we're out there now. I only have one episode out, but we're also going to be doing more of this type of filming on YouTube and then putting the audio in podcast form. So hopefully it works out. I'm just starting that. But I'm a huge comic fan. Huge... Uh, just pop culture fan. I don't know why. I have all this useless information inside my head that when I'm watching Jeopardy, I'm like, I could have got that one. Yeah. But you know what? It'll be those people who save the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, I... Um, so this is from Jason, uh, Slide Up 503. I'm interested to see what's in here. Um, so we got two graded comics, two slabs. Uh, we'll open up those last. We got... So we got three Ninja Turtles oh, tops man. cards, uh, movie cards. I mean, this is awesome. Um, You're not gonna open those, right? Nineties. Uh, you know the way cards are skyrocketing. I will not. Yeah. No. Don't, don't open them. Batman Returns. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's awesome. Even though that was a horrible movie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Batman was yeah. good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But Batman Begins was cool. Eh, no, no, no. Batman with okay. Michael Keaton was phenomenal. Okay. So, but so Michael Keaton, everything. Michael Keaton was good in that, but okay. the supporting cast wasn't. Danny DeVito was great as the Penguin. So, who's your favorite? Yeah, I love Danny DeVito as the Penguin. What'd you think of uh, Arnold as Mr. Freeze? See, that's where we. <laughs> I wish we could put that into an alternate universe, a multiverse somewhere. And say, we never did that. We never did that. We um, never watched that one. Yeah, man. I uh, I, I I did love uh, Tommy Lee Jones as uh, Two Face. I thought that was. Yeah. Thought he was good. But Chris um, O'Donnell as Robin really just... <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, he's Clooney too, was good. He's too handsome. I think that's the problem. Clooney was good, actually. Kilmer was okay, but it just wasn't Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Best Bruce Wayne? Sorry. Ben Affleck. Yeah. 
I know people are going, what? Did he just say that? But listen. Don't turn off the video. Listen. Wait it out. If wait it you, out. It gets better. If you, if you play the Batman video games, if you watch the old Batman cartoon, the animated series, if you watch the Justice League Unlimited series, if you watch... Uh, he portrays Batman the best. The size, his shoulder stature. Okay. Uh, as Bruce Wayne. As Batman, I know there was some, oh, Batman yeah. shouldn't use a gun and this and that and all that. But you got to remember, he's older Batman. He's sick of this stuff. He's trying to stop these aliens that are coming. You know, yeah. we won't even get into all that. Yeah. <laughs> but pretty good I, stuff. I think, uh, I think I disagree, but I will say he'll be better. He was better than the Twilight Edward will be as Batman. Uh, I can't speak on that yet because I'm not going to judge. I'm going to judge him. You you played Twilight. You played a vampire, bro. Just, no. No. <laughs> you, you, you don't, so we got a heap of stickers from Jason here. Yay! Um, I mean, everything from Supergirl, uh, see Ant-Man, Guards of the Galaxy, nice little Thanos, <laughs> um, some Thor, some Deadpool, some cool stuff, and his own little stickers, which are cool. Oh, that's him? That's him. That's Jason. Oh, I thought that was Kevin Smith. You thought it was Kevin Smith? At I, first, it definitely. I thought... You know, you got the hat, you got the oh, cool beard, yeah. I was like, Kevin Smith. <laughs> Big fan of Kevin Smith. Jason, you hear that? You are Kevin Smith. You are now Jason Smith. That's not, listen, people have called me way worse than Kevin Smith, so I'm <laughs> okay with that. We got a really nice stack of books. Um, so I don't know what to expect from this. Um, so. <laughs> Already, uh, I'm just going to take out these first two things. So, we got two of the Walmart packs. Um, you want to just rip one open? You really um, want to open these? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Because I've got a million oh, of these. Oh, because there's three comics in there's there. There's like three. Yeah. I got three Venom, or... which is coming out. Venom 2 will be out this year. Did you see the new preview? Yeah. I thought there was going to be more Carnage. Woody Harrell in the preview? Yeah. Oh, come on, they're not going to give away Carnage <laughs> going to give away... <laughs> Woody Harrelson though playing a bad guy, it's gonna be weird. playing one of the the biggest villains in the in Marvel. Carnage was a mess. I can't do this. I don't want to ruin. Just rip it. Just rip it. It's a Walmart comic. I believe in you. Hey man, don't don't, don't <laughs> get down on so, Walmart. Um, so because I want to open up the Walmart pass because I really like them. I'm actually really excited for this. The first one, the Infinity Gauntlet number one. It's a Scotty Young variant. And I don't have that. I love Scotty Young, and I love the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, the only guys. thing that's bad is that these are reprints, so oh, yeah. you never get. You never get anything cool. Uh, Thor one. I don't even know. Uh, yeah. Um, and we got a Weapon X, one of those lenticular. Yeah, like that. Which hologram. is really cool. Um, it really, this like, is it'll cool. go between this is, two different things. Well, it's cool because. Uh, if uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but the Luke Cage Heroes for Hire it goes from the classic Luke Cage kind of to the the Luke Cage from today, which That's I think cool. is pretty cool. And this is this is like a obscure comic right here, Star Wars General Grievous, the Jedi Killer. That's that's amazing, man. And they're all number ones. Are they all usually number ones in the Walmart packs? Not that I remember. That's pretty cool. Even if it's a, if it, this is great for the fan that, yeah, the younger fans that want to read I think so. comics be cool. that never had a number one. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. And I mean, you got Scotty Young artwork. That's for me. That's it, it keeps me connected to it. Um, so first thing we got is a crossover number three. I don't really know. I don't know. What to, I know. I know it's huge right now. Um, I believe a couple people told me to check it out. I'm in between like Undiscovered Country and a few different other books right now that people have told me something is killing children because everyone is. Um, have you read? I was never a big fan of Image. I, I when I when I in the '90s when it came out. I think the guys who started it were amazing. By the way, I mean Rob was it Rob Leftfield? Right, 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 yeah, and. Um, Jim Lee, yep. these guys all left the big two and went to do their own thing, and they came up with some great characters: Spawn, yeah. uh, Savage Dragon, and um, oh, I can't remember the name of that group that was all together. They had like their own of like Avengers Justice League that were all together in a group, and I can't yeah, remember my mind. My but mind that's mind. that's I never really got into them, yeah, as much. But yeah, I I I, I dug Image a lot when I'm I was a younger. Comic. I'm the big two. 
Yeah, the big two. DC and Marvel. Yeah, and I'll go with just Marvel if I have to. <laughs> um, wow. um, DC, DC's doing all right. They, 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 they're doing all right. Uh, second book is a, it's a, it's a Venom. This is that's I mean, Venom twenty. That's Carnage. I've yeah. got like thirty five of these, and they do hold value. It's the Delato Venom thirty one. Yeah, don't, don't. I, listen, I got roasted in the last video because of it. I'll still do the same thing. Don't. Don't try me, peoples. Love y'all. <laughs> um, we got the Delato Venom there. Uh, the Carnage cover. This thing, Virgin variant. I mean, this yeah. thing is gorgeous. That's awesome. It's still one of my favorite uh, covers out there, but... Mr. Sinister. Nice. So that's got to be an X-Men. This is cool. I don't have this, and I've never seen it, so I'm pretty stoked on it. Yeah. Let me pull Mi up the board so no one freaks out. Mr. Sin... So this is Exosaurs, the X-Men. Yeah. Um, stuff. This is really cool. So you got Mr. Sinister, Virgin Variant, Jay Anacleto, um Jay Anacleto, Um Art. I mean, this is beautiful. See, Mr. Sinister's the type of guy, especially now that they're merging... With the X Men coming into the yeah. MCU, he could be a big bad and people wouldn't even realize yeah. it. Because he controls a lot of stuff going on. That would be a great thing. Oh, we got a Deadpool. Ooh. So, Deadpool and Carnage. This is the um, Max Abs Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool series that they did. It's a Tyler Kirkham cover. This is gorgeous. I've got a million of these. If this is something you want, you're more welcome to take it. No. Uh, uh, if you want anything, let me know. I, I am. Know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right you. now, and you'll probably get people to stop following Oh, you, no, 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 no. I think Deadpool's a little overrated as a, as a, not as a character, but I think there's too much hype right now for Deadpool. Uh, listen, Death, he, he's, he's a take off, off of Deathstroke, and Deathstroke's a lot better. Okay. And there's other characters that are a lot like him. <laughs> That he's a takeoff of. He's a takeoff of like four DC characters. So that's how I look at it. But I feel like he, he kind of, you know, he embraces he's, that. He's he, just, he just. He does it. The one thing I like about Deadpool is his ability to to break the fourth wall and communicate with the fans. And he knows that he's a comic <laughs> yes. character. See, I don't even. Ooh. That takes me back to the Zach Morris days. The, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When he looks yeah. at the camera, or, I don't Will, know why. or Will Smith. Yeah, yeah it just just weird. Just um, I so I don't know what this is. Yeah, me neither. Arrow? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, it, this is I will say everything's in mylar, um, so that's awesome. So I don't know what this is. It'll be cool to crack open and take a that. I've been getting into uh, female characters uh, more. Trying to, I've never been sexist. In my life, you know, I'm, I'm I have a wife, that one. but nope. I definitely have always gravitated more towards male characters because I feel like, yeah, I, I'm a male and I can kind of say, okay, well, they've been in this place. I too have been in such a place. I'm not a superhero, but I feel no. like I am. But you also have three. I, sons. I carry three grocery bags. You have three sons at once. I have a daughter now. Yeah, and now that I have a daughter, I've gravitated more to yeah. the female characters because I try to get her. Involved in the comic book culture. Yeah, and it was the same thing with my wives. I try to get her kind of more involved, so it allows that. So we've gotten into some Black Cat stuff and reading that together, and um, <laughs> another rip off of a DC character. <laughs> <laughs> more of Phoenix, epilogue. right? It looks like Phoenix. Yeah. So that's really cool. That's a cool little cover. This is. I mean, it's definitely a good mix of stuff. Um, so this is Jason's first mystery box. Um, you know, uh, he's done a million on his channel. And like I said, I'll link him below. So you guys can check out his channel, support him. This is all a community thing. What, um, what is Undiscovered Country? So, you were just talking about that, but yeah, what, yeah. what is that? So this is, this is like a newer thing in its image, but this is a newer thing that came out. And I, I got maybe three books of it, uh, and... People in the comments kept saying, Undiscovered Country, Undiscovered Country, check it out, check it out. And it, it's cool. It's um, definitely more uh, like. Is it zombie? Sci fi? No. Oh. It's definitely sci fi ish. Um, no. It's... no it's, it's cool. It's. Um, it's not it's not really my thing, but I definitely have enjoyed reading it. Um, it 
You don't know about that? No. Why does he look like Rorschach? Okay, Spider Man Noir <laughs> is is like a. Uh, this is interesting to me. Yeah, if you watched actually the the on Netflix the Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Okay. The, yeah. He's in that. He's in that. He's See, like somehow he's I like missed a. That. He's like a uh, a detective type character that is in like the black and white type of forties. Yeah, yeah. Thirties, forties type stuff like World War Two era type stuff. Uh, I've never read any of the comics, and I'll, and I've only seen a couple of his things from time to time where it comes to the culture, but I, I liked him the way they made him look in the uh, spider in, yeah. into the Spider Verse. I, I like this a lot. Yeah, I yeah. Never... That's cool. So, what do you think of Watchmen? Now that we got on Rorschach. The movie? Yeah. I thought, I loved the movie. Mm-hmm. But see, I was a fan before the movie came out. Yeah. I wasn't a huge fan, but I knew the characters and I knew, yeah. you know, I think that... Be say, that, was, that was probably my first intro into comic books was Watchmen. Really? Wow, what an intro, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, because I, I was trying to explain it, but I was never, when I was coming up in comics was, you know, we're talking mid-90s and... As sad as it sounds, it wasn't Captain America, it wasn't Thor, it wasn't Iron Man. None of those were really the big ones. It, the big ones in the 90s for for me and around where I was was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, love them. Power Rangers were huge, so when the Power Rangers yeah. comics were out, I loved, I loved. I liked the first, the first. That, that first series thing. Yeah. I liked that a lot. Um, Didn't go I loved the, the first couple movies were cool, but then they get into this. Other weird they started doing samurai they started stuff. doing that, but then there was Beetleborgs and VR Troopers oh. and all these other. I don't even want to get into the yeah, history bro, of that. Yeah, all they did was take an old Japanese, <laughs> old Japanese show and put American actors on it and still use the Japanese clips, and people don't even know that. But that's what we do. We just rehash the good stuff. <sighs> I can't um, take it no more. <laughs> Last book from this is uh, it's autograph. Uh, by J. Scott Campbell, it looks like. Uh, but it's a Gen 13. I've got a heap of Gen 13 signed good, comics. Good stuff. I like Gen 13. Ooh, I like Gen 13. Um, and it's signed. Yeah. Uh, COA on the back. It'll be cool. Um, it'll go with my other books. You want to open? Just rip one of those open. <laughs> so we got two great... Oh, I guess we don't have to rip it open. Man, you open, you Jason, keep it. No, Jason's sure. done really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pull out the Action Comics number one. Mm, not sure. I probably would run out of here and never come back. So we also got some other stuff in I'll here. tell you what. Ooh. This is a... This oh, is wait, a wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it. We can't... You can't hype it up yet. No. All right. So put it face down. Just pull it out and put it face down. I don't know if I can... So I got... I got a um, a shredder and... Uh, and the peanuts, Lucy and oh, did, is there two Linus? things here? I don't, uh, no. I don't know if yours was in no. the bag. Nope. But it's cute. That's a band box. So I'm gonna do mine, and we'll do yours because you're stoked Ooh. about yours. But you got an old one. Oh! And you got a what? Beta Ray Bill. Wow. So we got a uh, Thor 337. It's a 94, but that's still Beta Ray Bill. But listen, so there's, I he thought could I had still a gem come, here. He could still come in. He could still come in. Come I, on. I think he's coming. I, you think so? Well, I think they, in the last Thor, the, the Ragnarok, they, they had his face on the thing with the, what was the planet? Oh, yeah, I yeah. can't name the planet now. Yeah, yeah. No, anyway, gotcha. yeah. but he was in the cartoon where they took that from, you know, the, the planet Hulk. Yeah. And I think you're going to see him soon. I think pe- the fans are clamoring for him. And you can tell it's an old comic because of the back. Yeah. Like, you can tell it's not, it's, well, it's not a reprint. <laughs> yeah. Because they would have done another oh, on no, a this reprint. Is, this is beautiful. So, three, yeah. Thor 337, first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Beautiful. Love I thought that. I had a gem with a 9.2. Because when you get into the 9s, yeah. that's like hard. No one's ever opened it. Death of the Inhumans number one? No, yeah. Well, Inhumans are getting... So, I didn't like how the Inhumans were uh, kind of portrayed in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we'll say that. Because it wasn't the Inhumans. It, it, see, you have the Inhumans, and then you have the like the people who they don't... They Instead of saying the word mutant, because they weren't allowed to say mutant, they yeah. made everybody Inhumans. <laughs> but the Inhumans was a group with this guy here being Black Bolt, because you can tell... On his head, where it says "death," that they're trying to make a black bolt. Black bolt's one of the most powerful beings in the yeah. Marvel universe. Yeah, all I have to do is whisper, and you're dead. Shh, you're done. So 
because he's so powerful, they live on the moon. So I've never read this. So it looks like it's a series of... That's great, though. Let's crack it open. No, no, no. no. (laughs) How about we don't? I'm joking with that. I would never do that. Even if it was a 1.0, I would never crack open something that's graded because... Yeah, I might if I can get a better grade off of it and if it's worth it to get a better grade. Like, if I had, like, a a first period of Spider-Man, I'd crack it open to get a a 0.5 better grade or something. Um, The only thing... I have a... The first appearance of Gambit that I have is a 9.6... That's and great. Right now, if the movie ever comes out, right? If it ever, uh, well, if it ever comes out with Channing Tatum, I hope it never came out because I don't. No, the know if, the guy. I liked the guy that was in the uh, Friday Night Glorine. Lights. Ta- is it Taylor? I don't know. Taylor something. He was in that show Friday Night Lights. Mm-hmm. He played him. I think he was. Yeah. yeah. Perfect to the comic. I thought and so. To the cartoon. Yeah, I thought so. I don't think. Uh, nothing against Channing Tatum, yeah. but he's more like uh, stick with GI Joe, pal. Yeah, well, he's I, dead on I don't see. Spoiler alert! <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> it's not spoiler. It's been out for like ten <laughs> well, years. Says, people might not see that. <laughs> no, what do you no, mean? No. Duke's dead. No, yeah, he's it, dead. Yeah, he's Duke's dead. dead. The Rock fine, took guys. it over. It's all good. Oh yeah. I, uh, well, well, I, hold on. I will say. I will say. I really did. I love the GI Joe comics. Love it. I love the movies. My, I just feel like anytime you put The Rock or Wayne's brother in anything, I, I'll just admit the movies it. were horrible. I I feel like I, I think the characters were, Snake Eyes was amazing. I think the, Destro um, the way they did Destro was yeah, good, especially yeah. like as, as an origin and yeah stuff like that. And people don't realize it, but that's how it was. Destro was never an agent of Cobra. He had his own thing with Mars, and then they had to combine. You know, when the G.I. Joe's got too powerful. Yeah. Anyway. This is fun. Um, I just want, can I see those? Are you going to crack them open? No, no, I would never do that. <laughs> I would um, never do that. So, um, I don't even know what we at. What are we at? Like 20. Uh, so, I'm going to ask Rob a couple questions, and we'll end with that. Um, These are from the movie. I love the movie. Yeah. The original movie. And they just re-released it in the theaters. Did they? Oh, yeah, for, it's awesome. like the love... 30th anniversary. That's one of my favorites. Because the best um, one. Except, well, let's not get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, like I said, these have been fun for me to do because I normally do them alone, rushed in my, you know, little, little man cave room that's next to my six year old's room that I got to hurry up and rush because he hits the walls and <laughs> you know how it is. It's crazy. So it's been nice to get to have other people sit in on this and, um, um, like I said, to do life with you and with your family, but, to, you know, we always talk about this stuff, so it's nice to yeah do it on camera a little bit. Um, so give me, um, give me your favorite superhero, um, and, um, and your favorite, like, appearance of them. Okay. Now that's easy for me. And people go, like, oh, really? Like, I'm not going to be weird about it. I love Superman. There's no one better, no one more powerful, and no one greater than Superman. And I think out of all the things that he's done, you know, appearance-wise where it comes to cartoons and stuff, I mean, but watching for 10 years Smallville and watching Tom Welland make that journey from Clark Kent Superboy into the Man of Steel, even though we really didn't get to see it at the end, I think it was amazing. I think for the time, I know it was campy and colorful but that's how comics are supposed to be thanks christian bale and chris <laughs> nolan for making everything Make dark, dark and dreary but it's supposed to be yeah. colorful that's why they wear these colors it's supposed to be something that you know it's why it's the green arrow not yeah. just arrow or yeah. you know but i loved it because it was except for batman and wonder woman you, we saw all the people that influenced superman in his yeah. life and villain wise too yeah it was great it was a great show so, um, I would have never heard that answer from anyone but you, and I love that. I love that about you. Um, who's your favorite villain? Okay. Because that, that never gets talked about. I, I will say just mine would probably be Loki um, or Magneto. I really like Magneto as a villain. Um, I think there's a lot of... And I think, I think what uh, Marvel did really well with villains was they always create a a good story with them. Yeah. It's where they always came from some dark place and you could even relate to the villains 
I'll, and with Magneto, that would probably be, you know, the, I don't have any relatability there specifically, but, you know, um, but I like, I like him as a villain, so what do you think? I like Magneto. I think he's great. Again, he's one of the most powerful beings in the MCU. But I like one of his, if you want to call him underlings, the Juggernaut. Okay. I've always been a fan of the Juggernaut. I've always thought he's been underused. I know in Deadpool, I think Deadpool <laughs> did him justice because they yes. made him like this monster yeah. that, hey, he will rip you apart. Yeah. His mutant power is that he can't be stopped. Any type of motion... And he'll break free. He'll be nothing. So he has to be contained. But I think that Deadpool, the overrated superhero, uh, no, I think they did him justice in that. Yeah. I think Deadpool's done all the Marvel characters. They I put. think he does them. A uh, Cable, better. they did justice I, with. I thought Deadpool, of well. course, they did justice. I mean, Ryan Reynolds is amazing. It was his passion to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's funny that, and I'm not going to go too far into this, but with him playing Green Lantern. Hal Jordan, Hal Jordan's known to be a wisecracker, just like Deadpool is. People don't realize that. He was a wisecracker, the man with no fear. And the way he portrayed Hal Jordan should have been the way he portrayed Deadpool, but they didn't allow him to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if that, and if they would have... Go back and watch that movie. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It, it wasn't bad. Yeah, I don't remember anything good, so... It was. I, it wasn't. I'll, that, I'll have to go back and see. It's just it was a uh, different time and space for DC. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing. Um, you know, I really liked. I, I definitely didn't like Juggernaut how he was portrayed. He definitely seemed weak in the films, in the X Men films. Yeah, least. with uh, Vinnie um, Jones playing yeah. him. Um, they. I mean, the, the. It was just. He just seemed weak. Um, I liked Quicksilver in the in those shit in that movie. I yeah. thought he was fantastic. And they they didn't use him very much. They used him for no, funny stuff, which but, was cool. But, but they used I would him. Have loved but to they see showed him. how fast he was. Yeah, how yeah. powerful he was. Yeah, when he's going into the uh, in, into the uh, the two the, the, the mansion when he's yeah. saving all the ex yeah. men and students. And, he, the, and he's like drinking, you know. Some yeah. that's, that's, and that's then awesome. when he saves them in Days of Future Past, when he saves them. Uh, they're like in the the vault or whatever, and he's yeah. moving bullets and he's yeah. putting people away. And you know, it was yeah. cool to see him how he does that stop in the middle of yeah. all this. I would love to see him a little more. I would, I would love to see Rogue kind of a little more. I'm I'm always a Rogue person. I love Rogue, um, but man, um, I could do this all day. I think we'll have to do another one yeah. for sure. Um, I it's not like I have shorts of mystery boxes at the house, so we might just do another one before I leave. But, um, guys, this has been my friend, Mr. Rob Hunter. Um, one you. more time, where can they find you online? Um, where can they follow up with you if they just like follow, you? Just follow the Everything and Chill Show. Everything-and-chill. Everything-and-chill show. That's it. I'm not going to promote all my other stuff, but that's where I want to start promoting because it's more related to the stuff we're talking about now. Love it. Uh, Rob, it's been fantastic. Like I Thank said, you. I love you. I love your family. You're I amazing. You I, um, you I disagree with almost everything you said. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. You know, maybe the Superman fine. thing and, and the Deadpool thing, but other than that, we're good. We're still good friends. That's great about comics, though. Yeah. Comics, we can... People take it too We're not seriously. Democrats, Republicans, just because yeah. we're DC and Marvel. Um, we we maybe, just... Maybe we are. No, 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 no. No, no. We well, can but, have disagreements on things, but we ain't we ain't hurting the country. Yeah, yeah, that's it, guys. Not, not um, gonna do it. Not don't. gonna do it. No, guys. I uh, appreciate you. Like, subscribe down below. I'll link Rob in the description. Um, all his uh, all his ats. Um, appreciate you guys. There will be a lag of videos uh, because of moving and going crazy, but I've got a good you know library, so we'll see. Um, but I think we're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, the next. 500 subscriber whatever yeah. we're gonna do a good giveaway uh maybe do a live show with some friends and uh we'll have some fun so i appreciate you guys next time we'll see you